Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, we're comparing the New Balance Fuel Cell TC versus the Socony Endorphin Speed. Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to 40 Runs. Now, if this is your first time at 40 Runs, I want you to smash that pink button down there that says subscribe on it. Go to our Facebook page and join the 40 Runs running community and check out the description. There's loads of cool things, including a link to both of these shoes. Right, so two carbon plated shoes, two sort of, let's say, up tempo training shoes, but you know you can wear them on race day. We've got the Fuel Cell TC and Endorphin Speed. So let's get stuck in. Right, guys, so I thought I'd compare these two because they're very similar. Um, you've got the Power Run PB midsole on this. You've got the fuel cell midsole on this. This, okay, doesn't have a carbon plate. This one does, but you've got like a TPU um, S-shaped carb, um, S-shaped plate going through. I've got to say, stop saying carbon plate. Um, the uppers are very similar. They're both very breathable. Um, Lightness-wise, they're sort of evenly matched. This is about eight ounces. This is, I think, about nine ounces. Um, and yeah, so they see what I mean about evenly matched. The outsoles are as much of a muchness um, and the lacing and the overall sort of, uh, what's the best way to describe it? Look and feel of them is more traditional than some of the other shoes out there at the moment. And I'm talking about the Nikes and stuff like that. And that's why I thought it'd be cool to compare the two. The fit is, I would say, more true to size on the Endorphin Speed versus the Fuel Cell TC. Um, this is slightly wider and, and it just feels a little bit more true to size than the TC. But I'm still a nine and a half in this, but I could actually get away with a nine. Uh, in this shoe, to be honest with you. Lacing is what it is. The padding, the cushioning around the heel areas is very much the same as well. So I say they're very evenly matched. The difference I would say in the midsole, which is probably where the most noticeable difference is, is with the Power Run PB, it's definitely a firmer ride than what you get on the, um, I don't know if it'll come out on the camera, but this really soft fuel cell. Now, if you've not seen my review of the fuel cell TC, please check it out because you may have noticed in that video that I'm quite unstable um, in the fuel cell at lower speed. When I run in the fuel cell uh, and I run, let's say over a longer distance, I tend to get a slight pain on the inside of my shin because where I fatigue pronate, I just, it just gives me a little bit of a jip. So I have limited what I do with the fuel cell TC to those sort of shorter runs. It is an awesome shoe. And I think if you put it into the hands of somebody who actually doesn't have a problem with fatigue pronating, you can really get the most out of it because the carbon plate in it with the midsole of the fuel cell, it's an awesome combination. It's, yeah, it's not as light as the speed, but you know, you don't necessarily really notice the weight when you're going for it. So it is a great, great shoe. Um, the only thing I would say, 180 pounds, it's a bit trumpy versus this, which is 155 pounds. Okay, it doesn't have a carbon plate in it, but it is lighter. And what's awesome about this shoe is that you get that sort of firm, mate, I'm gonna say firmness, right? But I'm comparing it against the fuel cell, which is a soft compound compared to this. So you get like a more more firm, I was gonna say, which is bad English, but you get a, a more, um, what's the best way to describe it versus the fuel cell? Because the fuel cell's so soft, the power on people is just tuned right. It's still not getting what I'm across, but it's not too soft for me. And I'm talking about this from my perspective. The fuel cell is amazing foam, but the problem is, is for me when I, as I said, I, I fatigue per but I don't get that with the Power Run PB, and I'm sorry to keep waffling on, but I'm trying to think about the words correctly. You, it just, it's, it's just the right balance, and it's just the right consistency. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. In this shoe versus, for me again, guys, versus this, which is really soft. And that's why I go for the speed. If you're looking at the Fuel Cell TC, and you're looking at the speed, I would go for the speed. It's 155 pounds, so it's cheaper. I think you get more consistency out of the um, Power Run PB midsole. Okay, it doesn't have a carbon plate, but I don't think actually that's a bad thing because you know, you're still getting the snap, but you can come back and you can soak up the miles and it doesn't feel unstable. So for me, if you're looking at the two, go for the Socony Endorphin Speed.